Seattle Supercross. Welcome to the swimming pool. Hey, everybody, Walty Wanderers, buckle up, strap in. We got a hard hitting pull, no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. Just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Welcome to the show. I hope all you guys are doing great, man. So here we go again. We got a mutter in the forecast. Seattle is traditionally a track even without moisture or rain, which they get tons of it there anyway. That's why the dirt always ruts up no matter what. So we're going to have a gnarly, challenging track. It's going to be one of these ones where your feet are out, both feet out, basically water skiing around, potentially. I mean, your feet are definitely going to be off the pegs a lot, even if they cover the track and cancel practice and don't want to get the guys to get dirty and practice. Whatever they do, it's I don't even care. It's going to be gnarly. And up until this point, earlier in the season, now I know we had some mutters early on, which was kind of lame because we were ready to see some high-flying Supercross, and we actually had mutters. But we really need this mutter this weekend, and I'll tell you why. Because we need some guys to have a chance against Jet. You've probably, you have probably heard this statement before. Mud is the great equalizer. And Jet's used to ri racing on riding, practicing, training on pristine, the most pristine uh, test tracks that money can buy. He's not used to riding in muddy tracks like Seattle. He hasn't been in the game long enough. Now, not to say the dude can't ride in the mud. I mean, if you've, if you've ridden a dirt bike for your you know whole life, you've had your share of mud, you know, riding in the mud in not perfect, perfect uh, conditions. And he's had to deal with that even this year. And he looked pretty good. He just had some get off. So here's the thing. This is a really big opportunity. Like we really need this. I know for a lot of us, me included, I don't really like watching mud races because we can't see everybody's talent on full display, especially if we have a nice battle for the lead. But right now we don't. So the mud is actually going to provide, I believe, potentially some fireworks. We really, really need this. In fact, we did some polling here at the show. If you're new subscribe yesterday get involved go do the polling jump in the comments bring your tear off do some bench racing because the roost will fly the only channel that i'm aware of that's really doing this type of uh revealing the fans and bringing them into the channel the way the way we are so congratulations thank you love you guys you know why i'm doing this you know why. i saw the seven deuce deuce today i forgot to tell you guys i should have got my camera out and got an interview with them but the reality is this, I love this stuff, Seven Deuce Deuce, he loves this stuff, everybody loves this stuff, whether you race, whether you ride, whether you're a weekend warrior, whether you follow the I don't care, we love this stuff, that's why I'm here doing this stuff, dudes, I love nothing more than moto, I've been doing it my whole life, been into moto, and this is, it's like a brotherhood, right, once you've thrown your leg over a bike and risked your life, you're in a brotherhood, that's just the realities of the game. Now, the industry wants to tell you it's all soft and fuzzy and bubble gum and watered down and electric bikes and Jet Lawrence and donuts and fan fest type of stuff. It's not, is it? It's far from that. It's extreme sports. They're trying to push it away to be more of like ball sports. They want it to go mainstream. So Wall Street has infiltrated the sport. It's not core anymore. It's all one big marketing cesspool. That's what it is. That's what it is. But we asked it on the show. If we have a mutter this weekend, which it looks like we're going to, who is going to win? Will it be Jet? Jet's the heavy favorite. He's got the most wins so far this season. He's the points leader. His talent's on display. You would have to, if you were a betting man, go with Jet. Maybe. Maybe it's Eli. Beast mode engaged. This is just what we needed. No, no, no. I know. It's going to be Chase Sexton. He won a mutter earlier this season. It's going to be Chase. No, no, no. Stop right there. Cooper Webb. He loves when the track breaks Maybe down. it's Kickstart. Maybe it's play. Who's going to come away with, with the win this weekend? It's going to be gnarly. Well, without further ado, to get our thumb on the pulse, read between the lines, look between the ruts of what we think is going to go on. What you guys, more importantly than what we think, what you think. Yeah, I guess what we think. Let's go ahead and reveal some polling. Take a lap around the comments. Then we'll meet back here wrap this one up let's get started all right race fans buckle up and strap in when asked on the walty wanders community page of the youtube channel if we have a mutter in seattle this weekend blank will win the 450 class 25 percent of you said eli beast mode engaged while 12 percent of you said cooper webb 26 percent said jetson 12 percent said chase 26 percent said someone else let's go ahead and take a lap around the comments 
First up, 5-4 Racing comes flying out of the starting gate with AP7, baby. The Cowboy gonna get win number two in the mud. Boom! And there it is there. Let's see who's up next. Blizzard 71 grabs a handful and comes flying in the first corner with Plessinger seems to do well in the mud. And I think AP or Kenny have a chance if it's a mudder. Boom, and there's another hot pick. Let's keep going. Cody Weekly comes bar banging into the rhythm section with his whole podium picks. Sexton, Lawrence, Webb. That's who he's going with. Boom. Jackson Andy hits the jacked up whoop section with I'm still going for Barsha for any mudder. Take that. Boom. Next up, Berm Warfare comes flying into the bull turn. I'll run it out with Kickstart Kenny's gonna do it. Uh-oh, a Kickstart Kenny fan in the house. Last but not least, Quick Moto News brings it across the checkers with If it's a mudder and jet wins, then it's just a lost cause for anyone else. And there it is there. I hate to say it, but you're probably right. Thanks to everybody who left a comment. Make sure you guys run over there and check the rest. There's some barn burners. Now let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back. And there you go. It's kind of a mixed bag, but right now, a lot of comments. AP, of course, you can't rule out AP is probably a heavy, heavy favorite. In the polling, you're only allowed to basically have five picks and so one of them i just used for other and that's why we did it this way so ap i apologize you know the rhinestone cowboy should have been on the list but i knew that he would end up in the comments which he did so this is a really good opportunity now listen friends listen up this is huge this is the biggest moment to date so far this season and i'm going to tell you why because all the other riders after last weekend at Indy and the weekend before that Jet won both races handily, he squashed their spirit. They all looked the way they did at the out, during the outdoors, basically. They, all, they were already mentally beat. Now, there was a glimmer of hope initially when he had a couple bad races and then he had his on-track meltdown and then the Boo Birds came out and then the gloves came off with the other riders. They're like, we don't have to treat this guy like the Moto Messiah anymore. He's, he's ostracized himself. He's, he's in some ivory moto tower. He's the, the guys don't relate to him anymore. He's making billions of dollars. He's, it's embarrassing to these other guys because they've, they've thrown blood, sweat, and tears, almost lost limbs, kickstart Kenny, for the sport. And then this kid comes along and makes more money in one year than a lot of you guys have made your whole career. They don't like that. They do not. That's why you've had people like El Hombre endorse this channel. Because you guys and me are telling it like it is. So the youngsters can understand the real history of this sport. It wasn't bubblegum, watered down moto. It was hard-hitting, high-flying, extreme sports. A niche sport in final thoughts. I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, as a moto guy. I want to see you not only went on the track, off the track. Understand the waters you're swimming in now. Shark infested. Seattle, welcome to the swimming pool. You might end up a swimming pool after all. One thing is for sure, it's going to be ruddy, it's going to be gnarly, and right now, I expect some fireworks to go off this weekend, and I can't wait to blow the lid off it every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video. If you'd like to follow me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to love the next video, and there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars. God bless. I'll see you on the next video.